Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What is retain same connection property on connection manager? Why do we use that? So let's go to the SSMS and understand. First of all, we need to understand the transactions. So if uh, I'm uh, writing some data to a table and I have started the transaction and uh, th this is a query window that I have created for this transaction. So let me um, have this one. Now, if I run this statement, uh, I have to commit or roll back the transaction by using the same connection. So let me execute this one. Now it's saying uh, two rows affected, but they are not really committed or they are not really rolled back. They are just uh, hanging in there. So we have to commit them or uh, we have to roll back this transaction. So what we can do, we can use anything what we like here. Now let me open a new window new query window and I will say commit uh, trend so here we are opening uh, uh, a transaction here in the SQL server uh, management studio for these two records uh, and uh, we are going to another uh, query and uh, trying to commit it so it is an oh okay I do not see any transaction that is open in for this window so I cannot commit it so what is happening it is creating a connection uh, and it will be able to commit in uh, or roll back for the same connection here if I will commit here it will do it uh, if I want to roll back let me roll back first it will do it so now if I open it reopen this one <coughs> transaction again uh, and go to the new query and say roll back transaction and run it it will say I don't know which transaction you, you want me to roll back because this is a new connection there is no transaction open for this uh, connection that's exactly the way we can commit it if we want it right now if it is uh, we are in the first uh, query window where we inserted them and open a transaction so we can commit or roll back here so I'm going to commit these records now the same thing uh, or logic works uh, here in the SSIS. Uh, let's say you have execute SQL task here and now you have some data flow task here and then you have another execute SQL task here. So if you started a transaction here and you are loading some records by using data flow task and then uh, at the end uh, you want to roll back or uh, commit those records uh, in the, in the uh, execute SQL task 1 uh, you, you you have to have one same connection for these three uh, three tasks if they are using a different um, connections they will not be able to uh, roll back or commit that transaction so in each of the SQL ta uh, in each of the task uh, if we are using a connection manager let's say uh, this this is the connection manager we are using it is going to create a new connection to the database so by putting the property retain same connection to the true what happened now it will be one connection for all these three tasks wherever this connection manager will be used let's consider another example if I am creating a temp table here and then I need to load the data to that temp table I'm creating a temp table by you and the temp table and then uh, load the data to temp table. Now if uh, the connection manager property is set to false uh, so this the, uh, when this um, temp table uh, uh, task or execute SQL task actually I just named it temp table task is going to create a table it will uh, create uh, or it will create a, a new connection uh, to the uh, to the database now when it comes to the load data it will create a, a new connection so the, the second connection which will is created by load the data or to the temp table uh, data flow task that will not see this uh, temp table that is created in the first one so to use uh, this temp table we have to set the property retain uh, uh, same connection to the true let me give you example again come let's come here and uh, I will show you what I'm talking about so if I will create a, a temp table and it has only ID and uh, integer and name worker doesn't really matter we are not concerned about the columns if I use here now it is available only to this connection let me create a new window and if I will say select star from 
this timetable. So this window does not uh, uh, recognize this object because it's a new connection to the database. So to work with the timetables, uh, we have to have a retain uh, same connection uh, set to true. So they will be using the same connection if it is creating the timetable here that should be also available to the second uh, uh, task. So that's how we use uh, this retain uh, same connection property uh, for different scenarios in SSIS package. And uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.